Alright guys, welcome to another amazing tutorial and in this lesson we're going to start talking about colors because in the last tutorial I believe whenever we drew these shapes we just got plain gray and black and you know those aren't bad colors but I think we can take it up a little bit. So what I want to do is I want to show you guys how to change the color for both the outline which we call the stroke and also the solid shapes which are basically the fill color. So let's go ahead and change the outline first. Now go ahead and access your canvas and what we want to do is, well, let me see, let me think about this. Let's go ahead and change the fill color. In other words, the color that's going to be pretty much in these solid shapes like this one right here. So in order to access that, we need to access a property called the fill style. Now what this is going to do is you're going to go ahead and write a color in here like blue and now whenever we refresh this, I won't do it right now, but blue is going to take the place of black and now all of your solid shapes are going to be blue. So along those same lines if we just go ahead and copy this and alter this property slightly instead of fill style we also have access to the stroke style. Now the stroke style is basically the color of the outline of your shapes so whenever you draw a shape like stroke rect this is going to be the color of that so we'll just make that one red. So if we go ahead and save this and refresh it we now get a nice red stroke on our stroke shape and our nice blue fill whenever you made this fill rect right here. So okay this is a little bit better than black but it's not good enough. Not good enough for this tutorial. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and actually go ahead and delete everything. Let's start fresh. So what we have now is basically a canvas that we're going to draw 2D shapes on. Now we want something a little bit better than just plain Jane colors. So let me move this over so you guys can view a little better because this is going to be good. So what I want to teach you guys how to do is apply a gradient to your colors. So the very first thing we need to do is say okay what we want to make is a simple gradient. So you actually, it's best to store this in variable and I'm just going to call it G because if I type out gradient I'm probably going to have a typo. And now what you need to do is you need to say what kind of gradient you want and where you want it to be. So of course we want it to be on the canvas and we just want to create a linear, definitely spelled that wrong, lin ear gradient. I believe that's how you spell it. I'll find out later on if I have some errors. And now whenever you're making a linear gradient it takes four parameters. The first parameter is the x start value. According to the x value where do you want it to begin? At zero. We want it to begin in the top left so I'm just going to put zero zero for the top left. And now you need to write where do you want this gradient to stop? In other words where a gradient is basically like a fade, one color to another color. So we just say we want this to go from 0, 0 to 100, 100. If we put it like a 1,000, 1,000, then it would fade all the way like this. But 100, 100, we're just only going to make shapes in the top left. So our gradient's only going to be 100 by 100, like that. So that is the four parameters. The x and y value of where you want it to start, and the x and y value of where you want your gradient to stop fading. So now what we need to do is we need to say, okay, we got something that fades, but we don't have any colors yet. So what you do is whenever you want to add a color to your gradient, you put something called a color stop in. So for that gradient we just made, we want to add a color stop. Now this takes two parameters. The first parameter of is basically where do you want to add this color and that takes any value from 0 to 1. So I'm just going to go ahead and write 0, .0 so you guys remember you can typically write things like 0 .4, 0 .6, 1. So at the very beginning what color do I want to start my gradient out as? I'm going to start this gradient with a blue fade and now what I'm going to do is remember this uh, method right here, this function takes two parameters from 0 to 1. So if we fade one color starting at 0 and we fade another color like red at 1 it's going to start at the very beginning and fade to the very end. So it's going to start at blue and it's going to fade to red. Again this is a very very basic gradient or fade as I more typically call it. So now we say okay we have a gradient variable that starts 
blue at the very beginning and eventually it's going to end up red at the very end however we didn't make it any fill style yet because remember we need to get give the canvas a fill style and maybe a stroke style if we want to so what we're going to do is utilize what we just learned about three minutes ago and add a fill style to this canvas and instead of blue or red or green or orange we're gonna set this equal to G now whenever we draw any shapes that would typically just be a solid color instead of that solid color it's gonna utilize this gradient which is a gradient that fades from blue to red so now the only thing we're missing is okay we got a canvas a gradient and we're telling it what color to fill shapes well we actually need a shape now so let's go ahead and hit canvas and we'll just make a rectangle simple rectangle and again what we need to do is give the start position in the size of that rectangle and I'm just gonna make this uh, let's just make a basic square 100 by 100 starts at 0 0 aka the top left so now if I go ahead and refresh this check it out I got a simple square that starts in the top left and I made that right here starts X position Y position and this is the size of it and basically my gradient at the very beginning at zero it starts at blue and at 100 percent in other words one it goes to red so if you were to add another color here let me just go ahead and add something like 0.5 and make it green maybe uh, this will demonstrate a little bit better what's going on we add another color here at 0.5 and just think of these as like percentages this means 50% and since our gradient goes from right here to right here 50% is right around there so that might be a little uh, easier to see what's going on when they added that green color it doesn't look the prettiest but you know for demonstration purposes it'll do so anyways that's all you get for this tutorial thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next lesson